An introduction slide appears with the OPRE Methods Meeting logo at the top. The presentation title appears in the center of the slide in a blue box and reads, Pre-registration, What and Why. Additional text appears in the lower left-hand corner and reads, Catherine Corker, Grand Valley State University. Methods for Promoting Open Science in Social Policy Research. OPRE Methods Meeting 2019. The screen changes and the presenter, Dr. Corker, appears on the right-hand side of the screen standing at a podium. Dr. Corker's slide appears on the left-hand side of the screen. The green slide is titled, Why Pre-Register? Distinct Goals. Three orange text boxes appear horizontally in the middle of the slide. From left to right, text in the boxes reads, Constrain flexibility, avoid overfitting, increase transparency, rigor, and falsify, test theories. The OPRE Methods Meeting logo appears in the lower right-hand corner. So moving on a little bit to the why, why is it the case that we need to pre-register? Um, there are several distinct goals that explain why we might want to engage in this practice. So uh, building on the what Samin was talking about before, one of our main um, priorities for doing this practice is that we want to constrain um, researcher flexibility and avoid overfitting to our data. So if we make decisions about how we're going to analyze the data based on the data that we've collected, we run the risk of making our conclusions too specific to that particular sample or that particular study. So by setting our um, decisions ahead of time, we can reduce the possibility of um, it strategically using flexibility to do things like get a statistically significant result. Um, Pre-registration can also increase transparency and rigor, and I gather that that is a really central and uh, important value for folks in the government, um, probably always, but maybe especially now, there's been an, an enhanced focus on um, increasing the transparency of practices. And if we um, have transparency in our studies, that can help us to make the case that um, our conclusions are, are more sound. Um, finally, pre-registration can also help us to falsify and test theories. So if you are working in that mode where you have a specific theoretically derived hypothesis, there's a chance with pre-registration to prove yourself wrong. Right? If we don't set those um, conditions ahead of time for how we plan to do the study and what, how we plan to interpret the results um, in terms of how they come out, we lose that chance to falsify. It becomes impossible to falsify a particular conclusion because we can change the prediction, we can change the way that we analyze the data in such a way that almost any um, result would support our hypothesis. Okay. So these goals um, would drive our uh, practices. So we're going to have different focuses on um, different features of pre-registration depending on which one of these goals that you have.